Incoming transmission. The heavens have become a part of man's world. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. So, Kevin G, how are you doing? Good. <laughs> Dude. It's an honor, honestly, to be on your talk show. You know, it's going to be a good one, I feel. I mean, it, we're just two guys hanging out. We're, t- we're two homies hanging out that we're going to be talking about random ass shit. Love it. I'm always about it. But the first thing I want to talk about is that conspiracy theory you told me about the Sound of Freedom, the movie. Oh. So well, I, I told you to hold it. For the show, so what is it? Because well, I've been hearing a lot of shit too, but what's yours? Well, I don't know if it's a trend on TikTok or if it's just something that it's actually happening in, like, real life. Obviously, the Sound of Freedom is a real life situation, but I'm talking about, like, the lights. I don't know if you heard about the AMC and, like, all the movie theaters trying to turn off the oh, lights. Oh, yeah, they, the they, they they say, like, it, it shuts off. They shut off the movie on purpose so, so people won't watch it. Yeah. yeah, like, yeah. Tr- I don't know. I feel God, like it's just the it. upper ups. Hello? <laughs> it was whatever. <laughs> it's okay. And um, I just feel like it's just the upper ups, you know. Um, you know, trying to hide the fact about the child, the children, you know, mm-hmm. you know. That they're being trafficked and done worse things, you know, that we don't want to, like, obviously see children mm-hmm. go through. But, yeah, on that movie, though, it's a deep movie. 10 out of 10, honestly, recommend. It It goes into depth in, um, in many ways. And you just see... It's it's tragic, man, what's happened to the, the kids. So, is it... The the child sex trafficking ring is it is it based in the U S Mexican border or just all over? It, like, do it, they it just be anywhere? Honestly, no. But in the movie, do they focus oh, on in the movie? Yeah. yeah, they focus it in like the U S and Mexico border. Yeah, but then they ended up going to like South America. Oh, okay. So it ends up it ends up taking place in all these spots because the the agent is from America. Oh, okay, and then the border. Honduras is around, like, you know, the bottom, I think. Oh, okay. I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that. I think Honduras is... I don't know where Honduras is. I would need to look at Honduras, it. I think that's somewhere in fucking, like, South America. Yeah. Oh. So, I know that it's below Mexico. Mm-hmm. So, that's all I really know. I just don't know exactly where, but it's based off South America, like, Colombia, and, like, the deep, like, the deep, like, jungle of colombia but did they mention anything like um like if the u.s government's involved or if any of these governments are involved or, or if it's just um a group like a separate group doing doing that or well there could be a conspiracy to that there could be talk about but they don't say in the movie like no, oh the u.s not. government's part of this obviously not they're no. not they're not gonna make the the government look bad oh, okay you know, mm-hmm. they're not going to want to get themselves in a situation that they won't be able to come out. Mm-hmm. It's the upper ups. It's the higher ups. Mm-hmm. You know, you don't want to mess with the higher ups. You know what they say? You talk too much. Yeah. You know, I'm surprised that the that the director or the the actor, they haven't done shit to them. Ever oh, yeah. Since the movie came out. Like, I'm surprised they haven't. And I 100 percent respect the actors that had the courage to bring this movie out to the world because Mm -hmm. it it brings awareness and i mean it's been a it's been an issue for years for longer than that Mm -hmm. i don't even know you know Mm -hmm. i'm not an expert in it but i know for sure it's been an issue for years and and it's it's kind of sad to to say this but you know it should have been an issue that we all should have been focused on since the start Mm -hmm. but they but they distract us with the tiktoks with the yeah the new uh, iPhone, the new this, the new that. The so, submarine. Yeah, the submarine. The, which I find it crazy, which I have a lot of things to say about that too, but you know what? Who knows? We we, we, we could breeze 
breeze past it later on in the episode or something. Yeah. Um, but was Mel Gibson in the movie? You know who Mel Gibson is? I actually do not know who. Mel you, you don't know who is. Mel Gibson is? I don't know my actors like that, man. Mel Gibson. He he came out in. Have you seen the movie Braveheart? Actually, I have not. Oh my god, Kevin! Oh, have you <laughs> I'm seen, sorry. Have you seen Signs? Signs? Yeah, that no, alien movie. Oh my god, Dude, Kevin! I have not watched these movies. Okay, what else? Um, um, have you seen Daddy's Home? No, I have. Fucking not. shit, Kevin! Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck! I'm gonna have to pull a picture of. Oh my god! Sorry, man. You know, honestly, I get. I don't even. I don't. I never grew up watching like movies like that mm -hmm. you know like i was always outside <laughs> this guy you never seen this guy yeah no you never know. seen him i've never seen that guy well he, he he's an actor he was a he, he he was known like in the early 2000s 90s but then recently they've been calling him crazy because he spent all his all his money on a dinosaur dinosaur bone he bought a dinosaur bone for like i don't even know how much money but, oh wait, I think I heard some a little bit about that actually. Yeah. And they they were calling him crazy, like all the news sources and everything. Yeah. But recently he's trying to release a docuseries about the human uh the child sex trafficking ring in Hollywood. And everyone's saying that they're gonna kill him, he's gonna commit suicide, quote unquote, he's gonna do all this shit. So it's kinda of funny that this movie comes out and then he starts saying that he's gonna he's gonna um, expose Hollywood for that, and then I feel like it's 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 all distraction. It's all distraction to something bigger, but it's something I think people will get behind. No, oh, yeah, man, and obviously the truth will come out one day. And I t and I speak on that like, no matter what they try to hide, the truth always comes. The out. The truth will come out, but the truth is gonna come out. Did that turn off? Uh. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> the truth will come out, but it's gonna come out once everyone who's involved is dead. Just like the just just like the whole JFK assassination conspiracy, everyone who, who was involved is dead. So oh, now yeah, they're starting to release true. um evidence and what really happened. And then the same thing with like like any major crimes. Like at once everyone is basically dead. That's when they start releasing the truth. So who knows? In fifty years, they might release the truth, but everyone who was in it, so like everyone who was in it, is gonna be gone already. So they're not gonna have any issues exposing them. Yes, I do agree with that. And but I also think sometimes there's leaks. That's true. There's sometimes leaks, and you gotta you gotta keep that in mind because there's always there's always gonna be something. Mm -hmm. It may not be a major giveaway. Mm -hmm. But it's always minor giveaways. Mm -hmm. And sometimes little things lead to bigger things. Correct? Yeah. So, yeah, but that movie, The Sound of Freedom, is directed. It's deep. It has meaning. And it has a, it has a, what do you, what's the word I'm looking for here? A it good message? Yeah, it has a message to be more aware and mm -hmm. obviously take more of a stand for when, you know, so if you see something, do something. So so before you saw this movie, did you did human the human sex traf trafficking ring did that ever occur in your mind? Like, you you go to Mexico a lot, right? Yes. But did it you does. ever did, did you did it ever occur to you like that it's happening at the borders or? Yeah, it, it does. We were, actually, I was just talking about that with my uh, my family member the other day. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, you know these kids that are taken away from the parents when you know they're crossing to America. Mm -hmm. Um, they get um. They they get taken away from their parents and they get put in another detention center sometimes. Mm -hmm. And then when they get released, sometimes the kids are not there. So oh, there's a okay. whole there's a whole like story and a whole like suspicion that they're being trafficked. Mm -hmm. And it it could be true, or maybe I don't know what their deal is, but I know for sure there is cases where there's kids are missing. For just being separated from their parents at the moment of that whole getting caught crossing over here. It's pretty upsetting, honestly, just to think that, you know, kids, young kids, you know, young kids learning, you know, entering this world, trying to to become a better person, trying to change the world. 
kids that are aspiring to mm -hmm. become someone that later on could change the future, you know, our generations mm -hmm. that are going to make an impact on us. And one of those kids can, that can make the change probably ended up being traffic. But what's the whole gain about that? Why, why do people kidnap kids? Like, what's the whole point? Honestly, man, they're sick in the head. That's what I think. They're what? I think they're sick in the head. Oh. Think about this. A kid. I know, but like in the movie, do they say like, okay, they sell this kid for half a million dollars? Yeah, they do. And you know what they do with them? They they do horrible things to them, actually. Don't don't even say. I don't know if I could sit down and watch yeah. the movie. Yeah, I, I, don't feel like it's I don't too... want to expose it. But it's it in some of the parts, I'm not going to lie to you. It did make me feel some type of way mm -hmm. just because, you know, I have cousins that are young. I have, mm -hmm. uh, I have nephews, you know, mm -hmm. I have a nephew. I'm sorry. Um, you know, I used to work for, for at a school for, for kids, mm -hmm. you know, where there's a lot of kids and, you know, just seeing that it was, it, it's hard because you just think about that. You're like, you don't know what these kids are going through here nowadays. Mm -hmm. Like in the world we live in, especially, you know, back in the day, kids were, um, they were, you you the the mobs and the gangsters they would never touch the kids like the kids were something that they cannot fuck with like if they wanted to sell drugs they cannot sell drugs near schools and as time has been going on and the world's been getting more fucked up that like that rule of kids are not allowed is that that's just bringing it down yeah no yeah man i, I can't quote that it's been a hundred percent bulletproof like that in the past either, because you mm -hmm. never know. The you code never know, cases. but like, but I'm, 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 I remember there is a code. Yeah, that they would say that that you know they didn't want to get involved with like the, near the families of yeah. kids like that. You know they wanted to stay away from that that type of mm -hmm. keep their distance, of course, from mm -hmm. that because obviously they're kids. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, there are still people out there that have a sick mind. Yeah, that don't have that are not formally and responsibly thinking correctly to not to realize that's wrong. Mm -hmm. And I get it. You know, there's, there's a lot of things out here in the world that is just, it's horrible. It's wrong. And I stand, I stand clear on it too. So the, the, the border patrols, um, what's the word? It's compromised. The governments are compromised. How, do you think we could fix it? Because I, I don't have a, a clear answer on on how we could fix it. Honestly, I have no answer either. That's that's something that, I think us as a, together united as a people, as a people, <laughs> as a people. Well, that, that, as that, people, yeah, as a people, not as a people, guys, as people. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. as people united, and what our voices, will be heard. You know, things. You know, if they say. They say when you work together, when something's wrong and a whole a group of people work together, mm -hmm. it's heard. Yeah, but like there, there's going to be a where there's a crowd. There were oh, there's always going to be a rat, and there's always going to be a person who's trying to to bring that group down with from within. Always, no, always. Man. So, so, no matter how so, many people are so there. the question is now: How many people are you gonna are you going to trust? To help bring this down. I don't think it's about trusting at that point. I mean, I well, you think... have to because let's say you're trying to bring down the higher ups who are who are doing all this human trafficking stuff. You have to trust in one another to. Oh, okay. to, to yeah, you have to you have to trust the people you're around in order to to achieve what you're trying to do. Well, let me let me tell you something. Sometimes you're going to have let me downs. But as long as you still have your vision set and your goal set, one one minor setback is you're still gonna keep going if you have that drive. Even if there's someone that's there that's gonna mm -hmm. try to ruin everything, you know, you obviously if you have that that mentality like, yo, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna fix this, I'm gonna resolve this issue. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you might have some let me downs here and there. But you're going to keep going because that's what you believe. That's that's your that's what you believe is right. Mm -hmm. And obviously, when you think something is right, you're going to do what's right. 
like I said, it all it comes to mentality. Mm -hmm. It's always mentality. Yeah, that's true. Um, I have one conspiracy theory about this movie. I don't know how true it is. So, I assume you're not gonna know these names, but there, there, there are these two rock singers who killed themselves like five years ago. One was Chris Cornell. He was the lead singer of Soundgarden. And the second guy was Chester Bennington. He was the lead singer of Linkin Park. I know about the Linkin Park one. Yeah. But I don't know too much. But yeah. People are saying they didn't actually kill themselves because they were making a documentary called, um, I think it was called like The Children of Silence or, or, or The Silence of Freedom, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, and it was basically The Sound of Freedom. It was. It had the exact same plot. Had the exact same story, but the only difference was it was a, a documentary. And five years ago, people weren't really focused on on the on the human trafficking stuff. So they're saying that the higher ups killed them off because they're getting too close to exposing the higher ups. And that's what they do. That's what they do. And when when they first died, people didn't really think about that. They didn't yeah. know that they were doing that. That they that they were making a a documentary. So as time went on, people were were uncovering all these different cases that Chester was a part of this foundation to help kids who were saved from the trafficking rings. And same with Chris Cornell. And I feel like there's a reason why this movie is now being released. And I feel like it's, I, I, I don't know what, what, why they do it, why they released it now and now five years ago then. I don't know what they're trying to do. I don't know if it's something they're willing to get exposed of. You know, this also, I'm going to answer some of your questions. I just want to say this. Think about the Elvis Presley thing. Which one? The whole Elvis Presley situation. Which one? There's a conspiracy theory about Elvis Presley. What, that he's still alive? Yes. Just like that, people are always going to have conspiracy theories because one, I'm not saying, you know what I said, they are doing that. What mm -hmm. I meant by they are doing that is not necessarily that the the, the singers or the, the famous person is doing that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's natural, you know, but conspiracy wise, it could be that they're trying to hush somebody. They're trying mm. to, or someone's trying to disappear. Like Tupac. Yeah. That's another one. That's another good example. So like Elvis Presley, I know it's kind of off of it, but Elvis Presley wanted to disappear and come back as another person. And there mm. was a singer. I don't remember his name. I could search it up probably and he would pop up, mm -hmm. but he would wear a mask after Elvis died. Oh yeah. After yeah. Elvis died. Yeah. Mance pulled up with a mask and acted like he was a whole other person and sounded just like Elvis. There was actually supposed to be a release of his medical records. Elvis's? Yeah, Elvis Presley's medical records were supposed to be released, I think, 2000 and somewhere in the early 2000s. Mm -hmm. Don't quote me on that. I just think it was somewhere in the early 2000s. But they said that they were supposed to release his records, but they never did. And then someone at his house, this is just a conspiracy theory, mm -hmm. but this is something that I'm even, it's hard to hold, believe hold, hold or on, not hold, to believe. Hold on, before we continue, I just have to put that out there. We don't really think that these theories are true. <laughs> we're, it's just fun to talk, to, talk about. Yeah, that's um, what I'm saying. If they are true, they're true. If they're not true, then they're not true. That's what makes it a conspiracy theory. That's what makes it interesting. That's yeah. what makes it that's what draws the 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 audience. Yeah, hearing things that you know, like that makes the the human mind think. Because mm -hmm. you're a human being, I'm a human being. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm I'm just trying not to get canceled for. Oh no, for saying that's why for, we're wording stuff right. Yeah, because you know what, I think that's what it comes back, back to mentality. It comes back to mentality. And I, I, you know, I'm a very respectful person too. Mm -hmm. But it's also cool to think about conspiracy theories. I feel like everybody's in, intrigued with conspiracy theories, but I cut you off. What were you saying about Elvis? Oh, Elvis Presley. They say that there's a photo that came out on the internet. Mm -hmm. He has white hair. Oh, yeah. And they're he's sitting through the glass door behind his door. 
and he was someone caught a photo of him. What? <laughs> <laughs> I own a bourbon to the mic. <laughs> I didn't want a bourbon Bro, to the mic. So I just thought it was something funny. This guy just started like in the background. You can hear. <laughs> I'm probably gonna funny. hear it when I when I'm editing That's this. So funny, bro. Okay, but um, yeah, they 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 said that you know someone captured a picture of him. Mm -hmm. But how do we know that's 100 percent true? That's him. So I I think I know exactly what you're talking about. Some dude smiling with a big ass smile, oh, oh, silver hair or white hair. They're yeah. saying I heard I saw a, a theory about that saying that that was Elvis's brother. Because oh, Elvis had a twin brother. His name was Jesse. But um oh, I never knew that. But he his brother died or something like that. His his brother died. And that was him. That was his long lost brother, or some bullshit like that. What? So they're saying that 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 person that you're I feel like we have the same image in our mind. Yeah. So the person you have in mind, I feel like that was his brother and then Elvis, I don't know. Elvis, Elvis is obviously dead. It's been he's probably gonna be like ninety nine right now. Yeah, he's dead. I feel like he, if he was alive, he would have died back in like the early two thousands. But there also was a thing about his medical terms that he, the doctor, was supposed to release it, and he was gonna come out to the world and tell them that he's still alive. Tell everybody he's alive. Yeah, that's what they said about. That's another thing. That that's what they saying. said about Michael Jackson. That's what they said about Tupac and Biggie and fucking Kurt Cobain from Nirvana. They, they, I, I feel like. These artists, most of them, are, could, could be probably dead. Wait, Kirkle Bings is dead? The yeah. one that sings, I got that drink in my cup. Is that the one? No. Oh, I was thinking about Kirk Bings. Like the, Kirk the... Bings is a singer of Nirvana. The, oh, the... that Kirk Bings. Oh, I just heard Kirk Bings and I started thinking of that drink wait, in my wait. cup. What? I started thinking of this other song. Kirk, that Kirk, This is rapper called Kirk Bings. Oh, okay. and he sings the drink in my cup. Oh, no, no, no. His name's Kirk Cobain. Oh, okay. That's why I was like, wait, Kirk Cobain. I, it, it, it's just, it, it sounded like I said Cobain. Oh, okay, okay. I was like, dang, I didn't know that. <laughs> um, But yeah, I feel like most of them are dead. Maybe like Tupac, Michael Jackson, Kurt, they're all still alive somewhere. R.I.P. Um, but like the, the rappers like Pop Smoke, Juice World, X. Oh, man. The, I feel like th those guys. They they are dead because they probably overdose on something. I feel bad. Yeah, man, I remember when Juice World died, bro. Me too. I, I was, was I was turning into the Chick Fil A parking lot when oh I <laughs> when when I saw the Twitter post that he died because he what what did he do? He ate too much. He, um, he was trying to hide all the the drugs. I'm not sure what drug he took, but he was trying to like he he consumed them. I guess mm -hmm. I think that's what I heard. Mm -hmm. He consumed them, and he ended up having a seizure. Mm. And they found like a, a crap ton of drugs in the system when they did the autopsy, so he ended up like having a seizure from all the all the drugs mm. he put in 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 himself, trying mm -hmm. not to get caught. Oh, but there is a theory. There's another theory about all those um, rappers' deaths. So all those rappers who died were all signed by the same record label. I forgot what record label. Oh yeah, I guess they're shut up right now. And. They they were signed by all the record labels, and the reason why they died is because the record labels were trying to make more money out of them. Because more because when artists die, they their sales go them. up. Yeah, because they don't have to either. And one, they don't have to agree to if they want to do that or not. Exactly. And it's easier to run it. That's why that's that's why they keep releasing songs with X, yeah. and X has two more uh, post post what, was it, what post humanist. It was called. Uh, I think it's called Empire, Empire record, lab record labels. Yeah, record. it's e it's either Empire or like or is like like Atlantic, Empire Distribution Company. Yep, that's the one. Yeah, so all the all the artists that are under Empire are right there. Like Pop Smoke, Juice World, yeah. X. I don't think Peep was in it. I don't, I don't think Peep was a part of it. Um, but who else? Who was who else recently died? P and B Rock. I think it was a part of them. Yeah. Have you heard about the Twenty Seven Club? Everyone knows about that. Everybody yeah, knows about that. But I, I, the, but the but the twenty seven club is creepy too because if I I don't know if people Photoshop this, but the artists who died who are a part of the twenty seven club have a white lighter in their pocket. Oh yeah. And they they and that. and the last picture that's been that's taken of them like in by paparazzi on the streets, they always have a white lighter in their hand. 
and and that's just mind blowing. I mean, it could be Photoshop, but I mean, some people do just carry white lighters. People, a lot of people don't know the meaning behind white lighters sometimes. Do, do, has, do you know? It has that. Yeah, it, it means bad luck. White lighters mean bad luck. To, yeah, from what I heard, from what I know, mm-hmm. I don't know if there's another meaning. If anyone else knows the other meaning, you know, just free free to let Eddie know, or you know, but there are other meanings behind it. But the one I know is bad luck. That's what I know. I know white lighters. You're not supposed to have a white lighter at all. That now that you mention it, I never see a person with a white lighter. I always see them with like a red one, a pink one, anything else but a white one. Yeah, and I don't know if they sell them white already, but I know once you like some of them that have the little like wrap around them, right. you peel it off. They are white only. I don't know if they sell white ones because I don't, I don't, I don't smoke or anything. Neither do I. I but I like, I don't know nothing about the lighters. But like you know? when I go to the to a gas station and look at the lighters, I never see a white one. Exactly. Why? Because it's it's not something that's like I wouldn't buy a white lighter personally. Would you buy a white? Lighter? Yeah, because they look cool. <laughs> uh, my man's on the dangerous side today. Um, I woke up hella dangerous. I I, I woke up needing to take a poop. <laughs> like, uh, was it good? Yeah. Well, uh, no, because it woke me up from my sleep. So. Oh, uh, okay. So that's yeah, not good then. Yeah, that, no one wants to wake up. <laughs> and you're like, oh snap, I gotta go. Yeah, yeah. No, no, definitely not, man. I I know what it feels like. It's okay. Um. Uh, how how can we transition out of this? What do you mean transition? Like from an, from this topic to the next topic. Okay, I got you. Okay, I got you. Mm-hmm. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on the dollar bill value? A piece of paper. A I, piece of paper. You're telling. Let me let me get deep into this. Right. A piece of paper. Okay, I can. It, it's crazy to me, man. Like, I think about this all the time. I don't. I don't know. I don't know if I could be crazy i don't know if there's a meaning to this that that 20 dollar bill has has 20 dollar value yeah but the dollar is losing its value yeah right now as we speak i i i i doubt it's gonna lose its value anytime drastically and i I feel like it's not gonna lose its value value anytime soon oh yeah definitely not right now um because the u.s is always gonna be on top no matter what yes there's also a talk about actually that China and Russia, yeah, I with that gold reserve. Again. Yeah, I, I, I mentioned that on the on the show, saying that that the U.S. and our China and Russia are are being are uniting to become one one currency, so they could throw over the the U.S. dollar, and then all these different countries are starting to join in. Like I think Sweden is one of them. Yeah, Korea's another one. No, not Korea. Um, but like. Different countries are joining in, but I still I still think that that's not going to be good enough, and the U.S. is still going to come up come out on top. But that's crazy. Now think about that. That has value, my guy. Just think about that. I know, like, I know. The, 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 from the actual, like the piece of gold, the nugget, mm-hmm. a, a dollar bill, a twenty dollar bill. They slap the number on it. And they're like, oh, this is worth that. This is worth this. Mm-hmm. Doesn't that blow your mind? It does. Blow, <laughs> it does blow blow my mind because we've been doing it for so so long. I'm I'm surprised we haven't switched it up or something, or we gone back to trading like like in the in like the caveman days or like or Program days. Yeah, where if you have a a stack of corn and I have a chicken, we could trade for that. Oh yeah. But over the time, we just were like, okay, this paper right here is gonna be worth that that basket of corn and then that twenty dollar bill you have is worth this chicken I, I don't know like the whole the whole economy thing is it, 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 it blows my mind yeah it's weird huh it's just i always think about that i'm like like randomly too i'll just be like i'll just look at like a twenty dollar bill and i'll just be like bro someone just slapped a two and a zero on this and said twenty dollars yeah <laughs> like and it, it 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 blows my mind when i see people at the store waiting in line to purchase something under self checkout. Well, oh, no, 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 no. I mean, like, we're so like, in the Bible it says, "Do not steal" and everything. But like, you wait in line to purchase something and then just walk out when you could easily just walk out. Like that, that blows my mind. Oh yeah, but then you would end up getting in trouble. Yeah, but like, 
I, I it just blows my mind that it just blows my mind that that we all agree to this. Like we, it's because we're brainwashed. Exactly, we're all brainwashed. That was the word I was looking for. I like to stay woke. I feel like if the crowd is going right, I'm gonna go left. Yeah, but at some point, all, the whole crowd is gonna go right. Are you can? Are you gonna keep going right? No. So unless it's unless I like agree, and I think it's like very because smart. like like let's say one day we throw we overthrow the higher ups, we uh, bring down all world governments, and we start building a, uh, our own government. At some point, it's gonna be history repeating itself it's gonna start getting corrupt again i mean it, it does it does that history because 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 like i always overhear saying i always hear over here people saying we should overthrow the u.s government we should do this we should get a new government but like let's say we do overthrow this government we start a new one who's to say that that new government isn't going to be worse than the old one well that's the thing if, if a new government's put in place we don't have a lot of people don't even have the resources. They don't even have no, no. But this is like all hypothetical. Like this is all like this is all hype. Are you getting a call? No. Oh, I, I was gonna say if we. Oh, no, sorry. But like this is all like hypothetical, wishful thinking, or whatever. It's all like it's just whatever. Like I said, let's say we do get a new government, and we get new new laws. Who's to say that these these new people are gonna be worse than these old people? And that's the thing. That's the that leads back to mentality, my man. Someone can pull up a whole another Hitler, or mm-hmm. someone can change the world. And a new government could fail, and a new government could uh, could succeed. But if you think about it, you will start from scratch. So the level of it succeeding, is the percentage for it to succeed is very low. Yeah, because unless you you just. Unless it's somebody that already has power. Yeah, because you're you're the one who's starting it. Like you're mm-hmm. you have the all the control. But once you die, you're trusting in the next person to actually do the right thing. And I feel like when when the U.S. government did start, it was um. It was, it it was true. It was all for the people. But over time, corrupt people started getting in, and, and that's when money started picking. And up. in, and in, and money. It, mo- money is the root of all evil. Money, money is a is the thing that makes the world go round. And cash is king, man. And cash is king, yeah. And they don't want us to have cash anymore. Have you heard about that? Yeah, but it's gonna take years for it. To come it's to gonna effect. take years, but still, like, like I still say that the the U.S. once the U.S. government isn't on top, that's when the world's gonna end. Because we've been living in a world where the U.S. is the number one country, the number one everything, and it, it's it blows my mind that we won't be number one anytime soon. Like, can yeah. can you can you imagine yourself living differently? Well, it depends on what circumstances. So, like, let's say somehow, some way, China is number one now. Can you? And we have to follow their laws. Yeah. Well, if it's like a dictatorship, you know, and it's like, I don't, I can't do what I love to do. You mm-hmm. know, obviously it's going to be an issue because I'm my own human being. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm my own person. I, I like to, you know, I'm not, I'm not up there. I'm not big. You know, I'm not a, someone that's like known like mm-hmm. that. But you know what? I like to be a leader in some ways, you know, mm-hmm. even if someone else is a leader in other ways. I respect it no matter what, but I would not let myself want to be in that situation where I'm not saying China does all this, but there's some things I know that they do differently from us. But it's everywhere. Exactly. Everywhere. Everywhere. Everyone has their own culture, their own beliefs, their own, their Mm -hmm. own rules, their own laws, everything. But if we were to transition from U S laws to China laws, Maybe it would take some getting used to, but I don't think necessarily it's bad. But like, let's say a transition to like some North Korean laws, mm-hmm. where we have to have the same haircuts. Like, there's only like seven haircuts. I think they allow every they, they person have, to get. I think it's like three. Three? Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, even worse. And and one of them cannot be Kim Jong Un's haircut. Oh my goodness. See what I'm saying? Like three. So. 
if it gets to a point where I can't even like, you know, be my own man, be my mm-hmm. own person. Mm-hmm. Damn that! Of course, that, I'm gonna have, a, I'm gonna have something against it. Now, now that you mention it, people, I wonder how the people in North Korea are, are living. I wonder if they're happy. I wonder if they know what true happiness is. I wonder if they know what what being their own person means. And I, and I hope you know. I hope they are too, because I because I believe that mental health is a big a big thing me, for society. Me, me too. We'll we'll touch on that a little bit after. Oh, okay. Um. But. Th- those people in 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 North Korea, they're brainwashed. They're brainwashed and thinking that the that their god is Kim Kim Jong Un or or some bullshit like that, because they don't they don't allow Bibles in North Korea, and if they do, they'll get executed. Yeah, that's insane. Like, I'm I actually I believe in God, mm-hmm. but you know I respect many other people that you know have different beliefs, different religions. Mm-hmm. But you know it is crazy to think about it. That they just said, yo. He's our God. Yeah. He's our number one. If you don't rule this guy, I'm going to kill you. You know, like, I'm going to slice your head off, bro. Mm -hmm. Or or I'm going to shoot you in the head or whatever they do. I don't know what they do. But it's just, it's it's depressing, you know? Like, that's that's, that's crazy It's it's depressing to us, but maybe they find happiness in that. And, and I don't like. And I feel like, and I feel like if there, if there becomes freedom in North Korea, they're not going to know what to do. I feel like they're gonna stick to their old ways, or who knows? I don't know. But the world changes as we go every day. Yeah, it, it really does. It really does, and I I just think you know, I, I hope everybody stays happy always, uh, humbly and respectfully, and and I mean that. But it's just it's just crazy that people are set on on one thing sometimes like that. Mm-hmm. You know, they're set on well. There's no other way. Everyone else is doing this, so let's do it too. You know, and that's how that's how um the ro- the world could change if someone's voice is powerful enough to make that change. Yeah, but I feel like that's a, that that it's especially now people think that they're the one. They're the ones that are going to change society. There's too many people screaming and not talking. So many people barking not biting. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like with the whole woke movement, there's I, I it it depends on what it is, but I I don't agree with the whole woke movement. Probably because I'm too brainwashed or something. Let me see. What, what, what's because what's like your... let, let, let's say with with the Andrew Tate stuff, he says uh, escape the matrix, be your own man, be your own this, be your own that. But let's say once you escape that, what happens? What happens? You're still gonna be. Uh, under control by something, you're not going to be completely you're free. Always be controlled. Exactly. Always be controlled. So, like, what do they mean by escape the matrix? If you're always going to be in the matrix, being a slave. Yeah, but you're still going to be a slave. You, yeah, you know? but like, what he means by that is working. When he says that, when he says that, I believe that he's meaning like not working, like killing yourself, work type things, like ma- like hardcore, like. Making but, low income. Yeah, but you you need people like that to make the world go around. Exactly, and that's the thing. It's sad that it's it's vision like that in the world. Like people put a a picture on it like that. Like mm-hmm. it's spoken about like that. And it, you know, those people need a lot of recognition because without the people that are, that are you know constructing our buildings, saving lives in a hospital, um, making the change to to you know. To better this world, mm-hmm. things to help improve society, we wouldn't be nowhere. If we didn't have people to do that, who's gonna do that? Exactly. So, so like, yeah. so like, let's say everybody, all eight billion people in this world, take Andrew Tate's advice, right? And everybody escapes the matrix. What happens then? There's gonna be a new matrix, saying that that the new matrix is the free. I don't know. I I think that that's something that crazy to think about and I have a conspiracy that everyone would just it would be a free for all it would be honestly Pro- it would be an animal like it would just get it would just get crazy honestly probably but like, there would I, be I, no there would be no control there would be it would, it would just go insane like there would be 
so many disagreements that it would crash. Everything would crash because there would mm-hmm. be like, oh, well, I did this and I'm, I'm my own man now or I'm my own woman. Mm-hmm. I'm my own person. Yeah, I'm all, exactly. I'm my own person. You know, whatever, whatever it is, you're, it's going to be like, I'm my own person. Like, I don't need to listen to you. Like, I made this. Like, I'm already out of that. Mm-hmm. So if everyone's made it in the Matrix, quotes on that. There would be no, there would be no, no structure. Exactly. So that's why escaping the matrix is only to those who think that, what am I trying to say? Escaping the matrix only works to those who think that they have no, I don't know, they have no future. I don't know. I, I don't, I just think it's, I don't think it's trying to escape the matrix. I think it's trying to find financial freedom. Probably. I think that's the word I would use. Trying to find financial freedom. Mm-hmm. Trying to find uh, myself. Because there's, uh, there's like 7 billion people in this world. Maybe 8 billion, 8 billion now. now. Yeah. yeah. 8 billion people in this world, man. Mm-hmm. And the people that make it, it's a low percentage. No, I feel like it's higher than that. But, but yet yeah, now it's easier. But it's still a low percentage compared to the whole world. Think about that. The whole yeah. world, it's a, it's a big world, man. Mm-hmm. It's a big its a big ball full of people. Mm-hmm. But you see, you, you look to your right or you look to your left. Someone on the right can be making money. Someone on the left can be living day to day on paycheck to paycheck. Yeah, but I think it all comes down to the person because I feel like it, there's people out there who love living paycheck, paycheck to paycheck, paycheck, and there's obviously people who and love. And some people are humble about it, and that's fine. And that's fine. I have there's no problem with that because you know what, I respect it because you know what I think hum, hum, being humble, and being proud of what you have, and you know sometimes it just comes down to your family. Mm-hmm. It comes down to your values, your values, and your traditions. Mm-hmm. Your values is major mm-hmm. as a human being. As a person mm-hmm. in general, having value is important. So, so what are your values? My values, mm-hmm. honestly, I I love I love to work. I work a lot. I I have a value of, you know, I'm a caring person. Mm-hmm. I was raised by both my parents, my mom and dad. You know, um, they're still together. They they've showed me a lot. You know, I've I've. Everyone again, like I said, everyone has was brought up differently. But the way I'm brought up, I'm blessed. I'm thankful. Mm-hmm. I'm thankful for everything they showed me and everything they've they've taught me. You know, and I I feel like all those things, like me being caring, having a good heart, it's not major to the point where, you know, it's gonna change the world. Mm-hmm. But at least I can change someone's world. Mm. I can change someone's perspective or, or be there for somebody that that needs somebody. You know, mm-hmm. but like that, that's just, that, it just, again, it's all mentality, my man, you know, it's crazy. Like that word has been brought up so many times today. Mm-hmm. I don't even know. Like, <laughs> that's crazy. It just, it's just the truth. So what mentality would you recommend people? Cause you say it's all about mentality, but what's the right mentality? I can't tell you the right mentality, man. I can't. I don't. I don't have say for everybody else. What what I could say, what I believe is my mentality, mm-hmm. is always strive, always keep pushing for better. Mm-hmm. Even if you're comfortable with something, every day you should want to do one thing different. Mm. Be different. Make make something that okay. Like today, like for example, today, like I want to bring my barbering stuff into this. Like mm-hmm. one day. I'm going to get two haircuts. And then I'll be like, okay, tomorrow I'm going to try to get three haircuts. I'm going to try promoting myself. Like, come get a haircut. Wait, hold on. You mean give two haircuts and, and give three haircuts, not get two oh, haircuts. Oh, yeah. Give two haircuts. Sorry. <laughs> thank you. Sorry about that. Yes. Give two haircuts. Okay, then. What else can I do to attract clients? Hmm. Well, I've done something where, excuse me, I've done something before where I've given free haircuts just to promote myself. Mm-hmm. And I've walked in the on the streets and I've told people, hey man, like come to the shop. I used to work at this shop called Uptown on Speedway. Uptown Funk. <laughs> no, <laughs> Uptown Barbershop. That would that that's a good song back in the day. I remember that song. 
right? That's the song. Yeah, yeah, song. yeah. by yeah. Bruno Mars. Was, yeah, I'm telling you. Um, and I just remember I would I would go out on the streets and I'd be like, hey man, like you look like you need a haircut. You want a haircut? Like, you know? Mm-hmm. And I would offer it. Some people would reject reject me and think I'm trying to like scam them. Scam them, but I'm not. Like, I was trying to see. I was I was being humble because that's I love to. You know, if I can make someone feel good about themselves, that makes me feel good at the end of the day. So that's a value I have. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm just caring. I'm giving. I'm. A, I have a heart. Mm-hmm. That's just the way I am. And there's other values I have. I, I have values of, you know, being a hard worker. Um, being honest, owning up to my mistakes. You know, I'm not perfect, but you know what? That's all I really gotta say. There's more, but I don't really want to. Much into my values. I want to know what your values is too. I'm still trying to figure that out because I I'm not a big family guy. I don't want a family. I've always been like I I always tell myself I've always been like a loner. Like I obviously have my mom. I have my brother, but even then I I feel like I'm 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 not a family guy. I'm not meant to be a family guy. Maybe I need someone to teach me that, uh, to show me that I am a family guy. I don't know, but I'm still trying to figure that out. What my values are. You know what, man? And it's okay, bro. So so you know what you have value in? What? Being yourself right now. I, you forget uh, the little things. You're trying to think of the bigger things. Yeah, but but when I think values, I think of the big things, not the little things. But it starts with the little things, man. Yeah, because of the, the little things do pile you up. You have value. You, you woke up today, say, yo. Fuck, I woke up. No. Yes, you can say that too. But, <laughs> but I'm saying, what I'm saying though is Fuck, that you another day of torture. Today, you woke up today. You're like, you know what? The, okay, let me ask you this. Okay. The day that you woke up to 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 start this whole program, this whole podcast, right? You and Devin, right? By the way, shout shout out Devin, bro. Shout I don't, out Devin. I, don't, I haven't met the man, but you know what? Hopefully one day I get to meet you. You and Devin woke up one day. Mm-hmm. What day was it? Do you remember? It was someday in September. But but of what year? Uh, uh, it's gonna be coming up in one year. This show has been alive for almost one year. Okay, one year. You and Devin been at this for one year. Mm-hmm. Devin on your last podcast was saying. If it wasn't for that Spotify podcast, mm-hmm. it wouldn't have been made possible because you guys were like iffy about it. But the, that's a value because you guys stuck to it. You guys stuck to your, you know what? I'm going to do it. I guess I guess one of my values is always staying consistent. When there you're, you go. When you're, when you're not motivated, you have to be consistent. Because yeah, if you're going to base your, your day-to-day life off your feelings, you're going to get nowhere in life. That's why sometimes you gotta say fuck my feelings, man. Exactly. You gotta say fuck my feelings. You gotta keep going. Like there's, there, I I don't know if I mentioned it on the on the show, but there was this one day where I was like fucking beating myself up. I was like fuck this. I want to stop. I want to quit. Whatever. And I call out for work that day, but I, I I was telling myself if I call out, I need to do something. I need to I need to work on something. And then I called out work, and I that whole day, all I did was podcast work, movie work. And that's when I found out. I'm like, if 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 I called out and I did nothing, then that means my whole life is going to be nothing because I'm basing basing it off my feelings. Yeah, exactly. You don't want to. You only have one life, bro. Think about this. This is crazy. Have you ever seen these this piece of paper, or I should say a chart, that has different different like little squares and every square represents a day of your life. If you look at that piece of paper, it's small. Mm-hmm. It's small. Every day it feels like it's long, but it's small. Cause your days get cut short. You know what I'm saying? Like one I'm... day you can wake up and something happens, you know, mm-hmm. it, it's unfortunate. It, you know, it, it's, it's a sad thing, but you know what, man, I'm glad that you woke up today. Mm-hmm. I'm glad that you did this. I'm glad that you're doing something you love. I'm glad that you guys are doing something awesome that you guys feel 
amazing about talking about doing it, you know, doing this, talking about conspiracies, talking about real life, talking about you know all that, mm -hmm. all that is cool, mm -hmm. and I respect that as, a, and I I see that as a value towards you. I see that that you have that value of, you know what, you guys speak on what you believe. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. another one I just want to tell you. So that's why I listen to your podcast, and it, it's good. Mm -hmm. It's really good. If you're not listening to this podcast, what are you doing? The, the, Kevin, Kevin, <laughs> what, Kevin, Kevin, you you just said if you're not listening to this, what are you doing? If they're not listening to this, they didn't hear your fucking statement. What do you mean? <laughs> you said if you're not listening to this, they're obviously not listening to what you're saying. Well, I know, but exactly. They're not going to, like, what are you doing? Well, like, what I'm trying to say is if you're not listening to this podcast, that's cool. I mean, yes, you know. It's conspiracies, and it's still cool. Mm -hmm. It gets the mind thinking. Mm -hmm. But, like, still, man, be open to stuff. You know? Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, be open, man. Don't don't settle for less. Be open. Yeah. I I guess. <laughs> L lately, I've been more open to doing more stuff. Lately, I've been, I've been opening to going out to have a, have a drink or just go out and, and be with people. Yeah, man. Hey, do you ever look at people and you just be like, yo. These people are alive. No, yeah. <laughs> like, you just look at people and you're just like, yo, like, this person just randomly spawned in here. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, like you just see random people. Like, dude. like where I work, like, I, I see people come in and out, and the people who leave, I'm like, I wonder what they're, they're going to be doing with their lives. Yeah. I wonder, I wonder what they're going to be doing once what are they, they planning. Exactly. <laughs> what, what are they thinking? What are they for. Oh, you have to cut that out. <laughs> oh, god damn it, Kevin. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> what are they going? Well, okay. I, I should say this. Then. You can cut this that part out, but I'll I'll just re finish it from there. Right. What are they going to the mall for? Yeah. What What are they? <laughs> what are they going to the mall for? What What are they doing? You know, like. Not not like in a creepy vibe, mm -hmm. but you just you you stay curious. It's mysterious. Yeah, a lot of people like, you know, a lot of people ask me, like a lot of people here around here like you ask, I'll ask you like what you've been up to mm -hmm. when you see someone that when you haven't seen someone in a long time, right? Automatically, this is just common decent decency here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be like, what you've been up to? Because I haven't seen you in so long. Because you're curious mm -hmm. about the person. You're curious, like hey, like. How you been doing? I hope you're doing good. Mm -hmm. But isn't it crazy to you that people all agree to everything that's going on in this world? And they just like, there's some people that obviously, you know, they're, they're like, no, like us. Like, no, yeah, yeah. Like conspiracy wise, they look at us. They're not like, they don't look at us, but you know, they look at this, these situations. They're like, I don't think that's, I don't agree with that. Like, I think this is something different could have happened. And this could lead with like everyone just wakes up with a mentality of, I, I, I think it's all because of the whole, all the movies and all the and all the the, what's the word I'm looking for? All the help me out, Kevin. I would say all the images. No, all the, no, no, like what's the, that one word? That one word where it has to deal with it has the word culture in it. No, this is one word that. Subliminal messages. No, 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 not even that. I. But it has to do with it. Too. No, and so what I'm trying to say is like back in like the 20s, if they told you that that happened, people wouldn't think twice to be like, what if it it changed differently? But then 50 years later or 70 years later, once he's once movies started coming out, that's when people started thinking like, oh, what if the moon landing was fake? What if they they did oh, this? Yeah, the moon landing. I've heard about that too. Yeah. But what I'm trying to say is the more and more people start creating stuff is the more and more people start thinking about more stuff. No, exactly. Because think, think of it like this. Like, our grandparents, they, like I said, if the government said, um, uh, uh, Lee Harvey Oswald is the only person to kill JFK, they're going to obviously be, believe the government. But now... If the government says, hey, so-and-so killed JFK, all of us are going to be like, bullshit, there had to be another person. Then who do you trust? Exactly. So let me ask you, who do you trust? 
that's 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 a hard one because everyone's corrupt. Everybody is corrupt. Everybody lies. Yeah. Okay, I understand that, but like if you had to trust somebody, who do you trust? I guess myself. By I I guess my own intuition. To s- it's it's going to be up to me to see if if they're actually telling the truth because obviously the news sources now they're all corrupt. You have to believe a, a random guy on TikTok to give you the right kind of news. Yeah, I mean, sometimes, sometimes, it's because accurate. because because back to the sound of freedom, um, there there were two these two news sources, one was the Sun, I can't, I can't remember the other one, but the Sun was bashing the sound of freedom, saying that it's for people who are brainwashed, it's for this and that, but there's a movie called Cuties on Netflix. Have you heard of it? No. I- so it's a movie called Cutie. It's about a twelve-year-old girl who goes through her puberty. They show, I think they show her her actual actually her transition into be becoming a woman. And the son was was giving them props, was praising them, and in a way they were, I guess they were trying to sexualize the twelve-year-old in that movie. And the son was praising them, but then you look at the Sound of Freedom where they're trying to bring people down who who sexualize kids and they're bashing on them like that, that that's what that's what i mean when when i say all news sources are, are corrupt and it all goes to morals too man you know like that's upsetting bro like, <laughs> like if you just see that imagine you're a father exactly and like you, like and you see that you know you a lot of people may not think like this mm-hmm. but it's how i see it if my if i had a daughter and that happened like that she's only 12 years old no but why, why would why, why it, it this this movie was like i have i don't want to watch the movie because like i said he sexualized the 12 year old but what they're trying they, they were trying to do is they're trying to empower the 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 girl they're in they're t- trying to trying to do all this shit and people were not seeing it that way initially and they still don't see it they still see it as these creepos trying to exactly that's what i'm saying like that would be like, damn, bro. Like, she's she's young. She's like I little. said, like she's like a a, kid. kids have to be off. The way I see, if you're gonna do crime, kids are off limits. If you're gonna start selling fentanyl, do it in downtown, and <laughs> a, away from schools. If you want that crack, come to the corner. <laughs> yeah, if, if if you if you want to kill people, do do it now where the where the kids are at. Yeah. So I I I I think we should bring back those morals of. If you're gonna do something illegal, illegal, leave the kids out of it. Le- le- they're off limits. Period, bro. For real. Um, do do you want kids? Yes, I do. But you know what, man? I do want kids, but I think about the world we're in, and it's scary. exactly it scares yeah. me just because I don't know what to expect. I don't know what if I bring in a child to this world, mm-hmm. and then turns to shit exactly or like a whole war breaks out exactly in the middle of it mm-hmm. why i feel i would feel terrible as a father if i were to become a father in the future mm-hmm. i would become i would feel so I, terrible as i brought this, a child into a world that's not a world that i wouldn't want them to to see it exactly. obviously i want my my child to live reality and know that you know this is what it is obviously I'm but not would you? Baby would, quote it. But would you hide that from them for no, as long as you can? I wouldn't. You I wouldn't. wouldn't? Hide, I wouldn't hide the fact that the what the world is, because you know what? That's what that's what would make. That's what would build them up as a person. Because they yes, know. but you have to let them be kids. Oh, that, but yeah, of course. I'm that, not saying you can't go outside and play no more. No, I'm saying like, of course, when the right conversation and the right exactly. Time comes, so like so like once they're older, once they're like. 11 12 once you're starting to comprehend what's going on oh yeah that, that's when you should do it but oh. you have to let kids be kids oh yeah no i wasn't talking about like the young adolescents mm-hmm. i was talking about like you know when they started getting into that age where they start comprehending more mm-hmm. and understanding more and seeing things a little bit differently now like teenagers mm-hmm. obviously that's when you're okay like we have to sit down and talk about this like are they, obviously they're gonna come and ask you questions mm-hmm. dad why is so-and-so happening right now Mm. They're they're gonna ask you how they even showed up. Yeah, you're gonna have to prepare for conversations like that. Yeah, I'm not saying you got a baby, your kid. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying 
let them be kids, but also learn to when to do the right thing and guide them. Mm-hmm. Be their guidance. Be, be someone they can be like, you know what? My dad is my dad is my, like, but sick. as of right now, you don't want to be bring kids because 10 years from now, or you even five years from now, the world's going to be a completely different place. Right it could now, be better. It could be worse. But right we, now, we, I don't think it's, I'm not it's something that you know I've thought about, but right now it's not like it's not a hurry. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm trying to say? Like right now, I don't think so. Well, right Maybe now, later on, yes. Right now we're young. We're we're at the point where we could enjoy our twenties. We could fuck up. We could do whatever we want and not pay any consequences. But yeah, we. I mean, when you say not paying any consequences, I mean, I I mean, like we could if you if we really want to, we could be partying. Every day, and it's not gonna really affect us. It's only gonna affect us till we're when we get older. It's not gonna affect anyone else. It's gonna affect us, the person that's doing. No, it. no, no, no. What I'm trying to say is like we could we could do all these things because we're young enough to do all these things. If we want to sleep four hours a night only, oh yeah, we could. We're at we that. Could do, okay, now I see what you're trying to yeah. say. Yeah, you're trying to say. Well, if you go rob a bank, no, 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 no. If, yeah, my boy is thinking crazy. I'm, I'm saying, <laughs> I'm saying, like, if if you want to travel right now is the best time to travel. Oh, yeah, of course, of course, right now is the best time. You're young, you get to do whatever you want, bro. If you travel now, you know. Actually, speaking of traveling, I'm scared to fly over the Bermuda Triangle. I don't think they go over that. Well, you know what? Like, if I think, some pilot was ever crazy enough to be like, you know what? <laughs> Fuck this plane! I'm gonna turn over here, like you know, like bro. I would have been, I would have ejected Osito, cut. What wasn't wasn't the submarine? Wasn't it going through the Bermuda Triangle or somewhere near it? Was it? I don't know. Dude, I, don't I, know I wasn't what the exact location. I, I, I wasn't. I wasn't in that deep into the the whole submarine talk because I because I knew it was a distraction. So I'm like, I'm not gonna pay any mind to it. So I I wasn't really looking into it. Oh yeah, man, and it's it's crazy to me because like. You're telling me, bros could have bought like a whole rocket ship, going to space, bought a Bugatti, bought a Ferrari. They could have bought an arcade, but they just decided to go on a submarine. I think that's that's crazy, bro. Like, and, and you know, this I've heard a couple things about it too, and I don't mean no disrespect towards these people. You know, I, I you know, it's a life. Mm. So at the end of the day, you know, I hope, you know, they rest in peace, their souls and everything. But this is just a conspiracy I've been hearing. Mm -hmm. I heard two conspiracies. One, they faked their death because they're millionaires. They faked their deaths probably because, one, they probably owed a shit ton of money. And they didn't want to get rid of the money. So they ended up turning off the lights and disappearing. Okay. They could have staged it. That's one conspiracy I heard. Another conspiracy I heard was obviously the government was something happened during that time that the government was just like, okay, everyone focus on this. Probably because I think around that time, actually I don't know what was going around that time, but I know that um the whole the whole Jeffrey Epstein remember Jeffrey Epstein yes. that whole his island, well there was this. Maxwell chick, I forgot her first name. I think it was like Giselle Maxwell or G- Giselle, some some shit like that. Her last name was Maxwell. Yeah. Her trial was going on around the same time as Johnny Depp's trial, and every news source was was focusing on the Johnny Depp one and not the Maxwell one, because that chick Maxwell had a had a, had a uh, book of names, and all those names were the people who were on the on the island, who ever traveled to the island. We're, we're on that book and every news source cnn fucking fox they were only talking about the johnny depp trial so oh, yeah i remember that too so he took a shit on his, on his bed bro that's crazy yeah so like so like when it's <laughs> crazy i remember that but i i that's an that's another thing i was paying my mind to once i see like a whole bunch of news sources trying to focus on this one specific news source that doesn't really isn't really relevant to my life sense. No, it isn't really relevant to my life. I knew they're. I know they're trying to hide something bigger. Yeah, exactly. But it doesn't make sense. But like the like that. the whole submarine thing. I don't know what was going on around that time, for them to cover something up. Well, no, I heard that. Actually, no, I don't even want to say that because I don't even know if it's true. But, um, 
Yeah, like I I know that obviously right now with the whole East Side East Coast stuff going on over there on Eastern the uh, Eastern countries you know, with the whole war with the Ukraine. Oh, Ukraine, Ukraine and Russia. Yeah, yeah the whole thing I, right now it's. A lot of people remember. A lot of people were talking about that. And now it's. I remember yeah. when that first popped off. Everyone was like, "World War Three is gonna happen." Yeah. When World War Three happens, I, I I said it on the show, and I'm gonna stick to it. If World War Three happens, and we start pulling up with nukes, that's when aliens are gonna reveal themselves. Be like, whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. What do you mean? So whoa, like, I never heard so, this one. So so they're saying the moment we, um, invented the nuclear bomb, is when. The UFOs and aliens started showing up. Because prior to that, there weren't really a lot of um, UFO sightings. But once the the nuclear bomb was launched in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, that's when UFOs started showing up because they saw that we could actually destroy ourselves now. So my whole theory is once the first nuclear bomb launches to another country... The UFOs are going to catch that shit. Be like, guys, stop this shit. You're going to kill yourselves. And what? yeah, bro, that, 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 God. that's been my personal theory and I, and I'm going to stick to it. And that's, oh, I respect it, man. And I, and, and I, and I think that one day it's going to happen. And that's when, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen next. I don't know what's going to happen after that. You, no one knows what's you you can, nobody knows, and that's the scary part too. You 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 have an idea of what can happen next, of course, but you just don't know. You don't know, and that's the that's the feeling of the unknown. That's the crazy part. The crazy part of thinking, damn, I could go to sleep, and then right now I could wake up, and there could be a whole ass freaking Bigfoot in my room. <laughs> like bro, you don't know what. <laughs> you know, like oh, that's a fir- that's the first thing that came to your mind. <laughs> yeah, Bigfoot, Bigfoot, the Sasquatch, the damn Sam Squatch, bro. The for real, the Sasquatch, bro. You never know. You know that's what I'm saying. It's yeah. random. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. That that's that was my whole idea around it. It's random. Mm-hmm. You never know what can happen. Freaking, actually, one time when I was 12 years old, you saw Bigfoot. No, I didn't see Bigfoot. I actually saw an alien ship. Really? Yeah. I remember this. I was with a couple friends on my trampoline, 12 years old. I remember it was like 10 o'clock at night. We're in my backyard. I I was looking. We were laying down at the on the trampoline because we were just jumping, and we just ended up looking at like the sky, and we were, mm-hmm. we were just talking. And I remember, dude, a big-ass spaceship. I, I, I don't know. I, I know for sure, for a damn fact, that shit was not a fucking... That shit was not a shooting star or a meteor. What do you call those? Meteor? Yeah, meteor. Like, I know for a fact that wasn't that. It was on fire. Like, it had lights. I remember it, had, it was big. It had little lights, like windows, white windows. It was dark. In the back, it was on fire. And I remember, it, you know, like in Star Wars, they Star like, Wars. Yeah, you know how they go through like hyperspace? <laughs> Bro, yes. Hear me out. Hold on. Just hear me out. In Star Wars. Star Wars. Star, Star, Star Wars. Star, it's, Star, it's, Star Don't yell, please. Star, <laughs> Star, 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 Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. Star, oh, yeah, sorry. Star, Star Wars. Wars. I have an accent. Sorry. Yes, that's okay. Star Wars. Yes. In Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> okay, for real, for real. In Star Wars. Um, they they go through hyperspace. Yeah, they hit a button and whoo, you know, they disappear. Like you see them for a little bit, and then they like go through like a whole dimension. Yeah, or whatever hyperspace they go through. Like they cut through the damn the yeah atoms of space. Yeah, I I I, I know what you're okay. I, yeah, but there's maybe there's people that haven't watched it. I'm trying to explain this as best as I can. Right. Now imagine that you see a spaceship on fire, and then it just disappears. Uh, I mean, like the size, like the big, like this shit looked like a ship. So did your friends see it too? Yes, we all saw it. We all saw it. You, bro, you guys probably took mushrooms before then. I don't no, fucking bro, know. we were twelve years old. Bro, we was playing with Kevin, Nerf guns and scooters. Kevin, I known you. I known you for like four years. How how come I never heard the story before? Because no one's ever asked me, and it's never been brought up. 
or I feel like I just never had the. It's never been on topic to be talking about it, you know. I guess, yeah, yeah. So I, can't, I just can't yeah. be like, like someone's talking about like business over here, and I'm be like, oh yeah, I remember the time I could tell you the time. I, I always, I, 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 I always, I always do that bullshit. I always, <laughs> we we could be talking about one thing. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. Obviously, <laughs> when you're having conversation with someone you're comfortable with, and yeah, you're like, you know, you can get off topic a little bit, yeah. But it's not the first thing that pops in my mind, you know. If it's oh. not on topic like that, yeah, of course I've had random conversations of. Where I just think about a chicken wing one time that mm -hmm. I went to Fry's and I put my hand on the door and there was a chicken wing on the floor next to a cigarette and I looked at my cousin and I told him, bro, that chicken That's smoked That's random. Himself. Yeah, and I closed the, the the freaking car door on my hand and then it locks and I was screaming like, <laughs> ah, bro, open the door, open the door. And then when he opened the door, my, my fingers were all dented. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> and I told him from a stupid joke, just looking at the chicken bone. And the cigarette, and it was right next to each other. I was like, that chicken smoked himself out. <laughs> and like, bro just looked at me like all dumb. And then I closed, I was like this, holding the, the, the top of the car. And my other hand closed the door. So I closed the, the door on my hand from looking at a damn yourself, chicken bone next idiot. to a cigarette. At Safeway or Fry's. I don't remember which store it was, but it was one of those stores. Yeah. I remember that. <sighs> Fucking Kevin, now I know what you mean when you say you bring up random shit. Back to the UFO story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. So, yeah, that shit, just imagine a big spaceship. Humongous. <laughs> just appearing out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're just 12 years old, dude. You're, uh, I didn't know what drugs were. I don't even knew what hookah was. What's Oh. Hookah. The yeah. hookah pen. Yeah, remember yeah, that? Yeah. I was like, hey, bro, you want to hit my hookah pen? Yeah, remember yeah, that? Yeah. Like, that was a long time ago. But you, you're just 12 years old, playing with Nerf guns, having your little BMX bike from Walmart mm -hmm. or wherever you have it mm -hmm. or wherever you got it, I should say. And you're just laying down, you're jumping, you're, you guys are wrestling. And then you just see a, you guys, after those like 10 minutes of laying down, you just see a spaceship. And it disappears. And it's on fire at the back. I remember I ran inside. We got off. We got scared. I'm not even going to lie to you. I was, we're, we're young. We got scared. <laughs> we really did, bro. Like, we were just like, oh, my God. Like, what was that? I remember I ran inside. I told my mom. Mom, we just saw a spaceship. And she thought, <laughs> and she thought I was the craziest kid. She thought we were all on something, and I was like, no, we're like, no, for real, for real, for real. Like, we're being for real, for real. Like, like we actually, I can I can sketch it out for you. I remember how it looks to this day. I've also seen by San Javier. Oh, yeah, me too. By San Javier, I've seen these orange lights. Little three orange lights when, floating. When, when did you go? When was that? Which one? The uh, San Javier one. Dude, actually, that was around, like, the beginning of... I would say maybe that was in November. Oh, so it was recent. Yeah. So, San Javier is a church here in town. And it's known for getting weird shit. And I remember this one time. I went with my family. And you know how that they have that steep ass hole? Yeah. There, so we, we climbed up. And one of my cousins took a picture of me from me, like, on my back. And above me, there was a gray-orange dot that wasn't there before. So he took another one. It was one of those, um, it wasn't a digital camera. It was a film camera. It was like a, like a Polaroid? Sort of. You know those those disposable cameras, the oh, green yeah, ones? Oh, yeah, the ones from, like, Walmart? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The little green ones? So, yeah, so... He took a picture. He took one picture of me of my back, and there was that gray orange thing above me. He took another one like a second after, and it was gone. Then he then he took another one, and it was gone. And then I moved to a different spot, took it again, gray spot, orange. It could have just been the film, but I extremely doubt it. Dude, let me ask you a question: Do you believe in ghosts? Kevin, my house is haunted. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Sorry, Eddie's ghost. Anyway. Did I ever tell you when I was um, 17 years old, I started a YouTube channel where I would stay at abandoned buildings with my friends from high school? You did. I remember I was going to bring that up with you and Mike when you guys went to that church in your town. Oh, yeah. 
but, but whatever the case, your yeah, that YouTube channel. Yeah, so I remember I stayed at this abandoned like church farmhouse looking house and it was burned down. I Here in town? Overnight. Huh? Here in town? Yeah. A little bit down south. Overnight, we stayed the night there. We were high school. It's me, some guy named Dominic, and, and some guy named MC. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> that motorcycle club. Oh. <laughs> Just, they call them MC. Oh, okay. Um, we all we did a project there, and I remember um we were, we were just recording right, and I went my separate way. Like we all kind of separated a little bit to get some video quality. I remember it was like um, three in the morning, four in the morning, around like well, about a, like it's like maybe like three twenty ish, and um, I was walking. And I heard a little girl scream, but like I didn't, I, I heard it faintly, but I heard it more on my camera when I was editing. Mm-hmm. And you could hear her like scream, like a little girl at three in the morning, bro. Okay, just remember that. Three in the morning, just hear that faintly. And I kind of, I, obviously, I got the chills, my, like, I got goosebumps. Like, I felt it. I felt that shit from my, my hand up. Mm-hmm. So in the video, little did I know. Until I edit the video, that there was a little girl in a white dress oh. standing at that wall that I was walking towards, and I was there was a windmill. There's a wall, and there's a windmill. There was a little girl right there standing, in a white dress. Oh, I caught it on uh, camera, Kevin. bro. But I don't have that YouTube channel no more. But I remember I caught it on camera, but I didn't see it in real life. But when I got over there, I got the chills. Remember I said I got the chills? Yeah, yeah. So maybe that's from I was so close, I got the chills. And, oh, my God, Kevin. And I remember I just kept walking in. What the fuck? I'm going to be here alone after you leave. Dude, I have so many scary stories, I, bro. I, I would love to hear them. Bro, I have a lot of things. I, I have a lot of scary stories, man. Just choose two because I don't want to get too freaked out. Okay. I'm going to tell you about Bloody Mary next. Oh, no, never mind, never mind. No, no, bro, no, no, that no, one, no, bro, no, no. Come no, on, that one's no, no, scary. No, okay, no, like you're all No, uh, I'm, 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 I don't live near a river that much. <laughs> so Okay, so... Bloody Mary was pretty scary, bro. Okay, so... Anyway, I went inside... And this is graffiti on the wall of that building of the burned down building. It was it was it was burnt down a little bit though. The main house was burnt inside. Like so, it's the same fire. place. You yeah, yeah, same place. This whole everything there was like a little church looking house. There was a windmill, and then is that the house. is that the same place you and Mike went to? Me, you, and Mike went to. I think so. The He's... one with the dead trees around it. Yeah, you guys. Had, we had to crawl under yep, a gate, that's a the fence. One. Okay, yeah. Yep. That's the one you agreed to it too. You walked into that hole. No, I, 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 I crawled and I'm like, fuck this. And then oh, I crawled yeah. back down. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember that. And then I, I was with um, Mendoza. I was with, it was me, you, Mendoza, Mike. And I think there's one more other person, but I'm not going to say her name on here. We, me, so Mike went first, then you, then me, then Mendoza. And I think. The, no, I think I went first. Or what? Mike didn't even know this place. Okay, I, okay, I so yeah, okay, let, let, whatever. We all, us four crawled under, and I remember seeing the building or what was left of the building, and I'm like, "Fuck this guy!" So I crawled back under, and I don't know what happened then. You, I just know that you guys were in there for fucking ever, dude. Yeah, no, it was it was pretty scary. This is this is one room in there, bro. It has like demonic drawings on it. It's 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 terrifying. And that room, like I remember before the mic. With the whole group thing that we did mm-hmm. when I went by myself with the the YouTube crew that I was with right. at that time, I remember that when I walked in by myself, I put my shirt over my my nose like that because mm-hmm. I didn't want to breathe in all that that toxic shit. Mm-hmm. And I remember that when I just walked into that room, dude, I felt nauseous. I felt dizzy. I don't know if it, it was just the whatever was in there Mm -hmm. from the all the you know the burnt shit flying in the air or because that room was just boarded up like there's a wall is boarded up a little bit and like it has like that picture and i just felt it felt like shit 
I walked out, bro, and I I felt better after, but like I I felt like shit, dude. Like I went to a church that week and I got blessed because I just didn't want to risk it. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to bring nothing with me, mm -hmm. but I felt like shit. When I tell you I felt like shit, dude, I felt like shit. <laughs> like so, like it was bad. So how does this connect to the La Llorona thing? Oh, the Llorona is another story, man. Oh, I thought it was this. This is I was just telling you I I just oh, know stories. Oh, 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 okay. I know stories, but like I've experienced the Yorona. I never seen her. Well, obviously you you're alive right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, you know, I've I've done a lot of things, man. I've seen a lot of things, but like when this, like I've seen that like, when this once. Duendes, Duendes, Duendes are 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 uh, elves, right? Yeah, in Mexico. Yeah. yeah. It's, you'll see or my, like brujas, bro. Oh my god. Oof. Bro, I seen videos, but like I've never experienced a bruja, but I seen videos where they just appear out of nowhere, yeah. bro, and they're they're just they're fucking with your thing. Yeah. But my mom has seen a duende here or across the street. Really? So right now when we go I'll show you exactly where she saw it. But it was uh, my neighbor's house. And in my neighbor's front yard they have like a like a like a patio like set up. Hold on. Do you think it's raining right now? About scary stories, so weird. No, it's because it's because I have I'm drying my clothes. That's why. Oh, <laughs> we'll be right back after the five minute intermission. <laughs> <laughs> I, I left I left the recording. So, all right, what were we talking about? Welcome back to part two. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, what were we talking about? Anyway, uh, oh, about the whole like ghost stuff. Yeah, yeah. But you were saying something before I cut you off. I don't want to play it back. About La Llorona? It was like something with La Llorona. Or the Brujas? Brujas. No, I was talking about the Duendes. Oh, yeah. The yeah, duendes. the Duendes. Okay. So, yeah, my mom, she saw a Duende. So, like I said, my, my neighbor's front yard had a patio. They have a table, the chairs. And she was talking to my dad. They had the doors open and some of the curtains open. And... Did you hear that? Bro, did you hear that? Yeah, <laughs> Bro, what was that? Dude. Did you hear that? Yo, that, that freaked me. That was crazy. Okay, guys, so we're talking about ghosts right now, and um, we're actually hearing noises in the house. <laughs> What is that? <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry, bro, but wow, that's a story. It's all saying she, she, they had the doors open, the doors open, they had the curtains open, and my mom happened to look over at my neighbor, neighbor. <laughs> Dude, what? kind of freaked out. Though. Me too, <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. Um, and she happened to look over at my my neighbor's front porch, and she says she saw a a a duende coming out of like the side the side part of their house, and then it just sat down on the on the chair, and it wasn't looking anywhere. I think it's that. Yeah, I, think I think it. I think it's Irvin. Um, the duende sat down on the at the at the thing, and she went to go, she went to go get my dad, and by the time my dad went to the front, it was gone. Yeah, it's just raining. Oh, I, it's it, raining, okay. Yeah, I think that the, the noises we were hearing were, was a rain. Dude, Damn. Like, when this? I, you know what's crazy, dude? I know it's kind of, like, off topic from doing this. But when, like, I don't know if I could talk about this, but when my grandpa passed away, um, I remember, dude, like, this is, like, a spiritual thing. Mm-hmm. I remember that I was sitting in the, the living room with my cousins, my two little cousins. And um, this was in April last year. Mm -hmm. And I just remember that a little orb. I was in my living room. Remember, you've been in my living room. Yeah, once or twice. I kind of remember it. Like the, where the bar is at? Yeah. Okay. So there's a living room. Well, the other side of the living room. Yeah. There's this orb. Like a bright, big yellow orb. Mm. Like you could see it, naked eye. And 
I just remember that the whole orb went to the middle of the room where us three saw it. The next day, dude, some weird, scary shit happened. Downstairs in my in my living room. My house is not even haunted, bro. This is, and nothing's it's the same house? Happened. Yeah, <laughs> and nothing's ever happened after that ever again. And I remember that I looked to my right and there's these boxes that were putting away stuff for Christmas. And on top of the box, bro, like, I saw something dark, like a shadow, but, like, I didn't think nothing of it. Mm-hmm. And it fell. It fell over. You can hear it fall. And after it fell, me and my cousin just looked at each other and were like, what was that? Because they stayed the night that night. And I walked over there. Dude, there was nothing. It was a black shadow, bro. Like, just imagine it looks like a black cat, but a shadow. Not even a cat, just the the, the, the formation of it. Not mm-hmm. even, it didn't have a tail or anything. It just looked like, like a ball. Yeah. Like a dark ball. Mm-hmm. And it just, you just hear something go on the floor. What the hell? And there was nothing. I walked over there, nothing, bro. Nothing. And yeah, it did kind of freak me out a little bit. But that, that was one of the stories I could tell you that I, one of another day of experience. But with Duendes, man, I know in Mexico, you see a lot. One thing I fear are cockroaches, demons. I don't actually I don't even fear demons because I believe in God. But cockroaches for sure. But um, yeah. But you know that's that's just scary thoughts to think about. You know. Yeah. And um. Yeah, man. Duendes are pretty freaky too. They are freaky, but you know what else? I think we might have to cut it short. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because the the rain, it's gonna pick up on the mics, and oh. since I have a metal roof, it's gonna definitely pick it up. All right. So. If anything, we could pause to see if it, it stops. But if it doesn't, I want to say thank you for coming on. And if we, we do pause, then this whole outro means nothing. Oh, I thought it was slowing down. <laughs> but either way, Kevin, thank you for coming on. Thank you for having me. I'm I'm going to have you on. Maybe maybe I'll, I'll convince Devin to bring you on. And we That'll could, be awesome. And man. you'll be on, 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 the, on the main show. But yeah. Yeah, I would like to meet Devin one day as well. That would yeah. be awesome too. Um, but yeah, I guess we're going to have to cut it short because it looks like it's not going to stop. Yeah, yeah, it's going harder now. Yeah. All right, guys. Y'all be safe out there. Thank you, Eddie, for putting me on. Yeah. Stay blessed. This concludes the transmission.